We have already covered the two most common white herons found in the UK and Ireland, little and great white egret, in a previous video workshop. But there is a third species that may occasionally be encountered, cattle egret. This is a species that, whilst rare, can and does turn up and, sometimes in groups. On rare occasions, so far it has even bred here. Cattle egret has undergone one of the most rapid and wide-ranging natural expansions of any bird species around the world, spreading out from its original range of extreme southwest Europe and tropical and subtropical Africa and Asia. They naturally colonised the Americas in the early 1900s, nesting in North America for the first time in 1953 in Florida and spreading north into Canada within a decade. The European population has spread more slowly from its stronghold in southwest Spain and Portugal. It spread north and east and into France. Individual breeding colonies can be large and the birds are vigorous and long distance colonisers. Thankfully, there are several features that will help us pick out a cattle egret if we encounter one on its travels. Size, structure, behaviour, habitat and, for some of the year at least, colour. Cattle egret is more or less the same size body as little egret, but it appears smaller. Overall, the impression the bird gives is a stubby, stocky one, created mostly by the short legs, short neck and heavy head and bill. The legs are much shorter than on a little egret, and cattle egret also often stands more upright. The birds are much more likely to be found away from water as well, foraging in dry grasslands or fields. Frequently, as the name suggests, cattle egret can be found in close proximity to large grazing mammals, feeding on invertebrates and other animals disturbed by them. Cattle egrets, in their main range, habitually feed in groups, although some birds in the UK are in pairs or even occasionally found singly. The neck is much shorter than either of the other egrets, and the head has a distinctively different shape. A steep forehead and rounded crown, together with a definite jowl around the chin and throat, combined with that short bill, makes for a very stout, heavy appearance compared with either little or great white egret's long, narrow, wedge-shaped head and bill. During the breeding season, the adults sport ochre yellow feathers on the crown, back and chest. Traces of these colours can be seen from early spring as they develop and can be held onto until well into the autumn. Presence of these coloured feathers is a definitive ID feature, although bear in mind winter adults and young birds lack them and are completely white, and that is when structure will be more important. When foraging, the birds walk with an easy, relaxed stride, and on spotting likely prey, will sprint after for a few strides, often flicking the wings out in the process. In flight, cattle egret can be a little more challenging to identify, and it's possible some birds will be missed. Despite the relatively short legs, the legs and feet still project well beyond the tail in flight, and, like both little and great white egrets, the birds appear more elegant once airborne. In fact, flying cattle egret can be surprisingly difficult to separate from little egret, although the shape of the neck can help. Because of the short length of the neck, cattle egret lacks the distinct keel that both other egrets exhibit in flight. If other cattle egrets are present, the group will invariably stick together in flight, although in a disorganised manner. Once again, the presence of any ochre feathers on the bird will help to confirm the idea as cattle egret, rather than either of its larger cousins.